Claire? You okay? I dropped it. Do you have another, uh, uh... It's called a tampon and that was my last one. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I'll find you something. Could you also find me a change of clothes too, please? I'm on it. Come on, buddy. You got this. I did it. Nice job. I think I'm already getting biceps. Your girl's gonna be impressed. Claire, she doesn't even notice me. Before break, we always texted, but now she doesn't even answer me. Well, she is running for president. She's busy, you know? That's why I made flyers, but she hated the picture I used. Well, you gotta tell her how you feel. If she doesn't hear you, don't scream it from the rooftops. It means she doesn't deserve you. I got a jet though, so I'll catch you later. Nice work today. Where's your costume? Remember, it's Wacky Wednesday. Oh no, must have slipped my mind. At least you remembered. Are you okay? Do I look okay? It's Wacky Wednesday and none of the girls dressed up. Rhyme says be like rubber, let it bounce off of you. Is the rubber strong? I guess. Nice threads, is this vintage? It was my mom. It's rad. You want to borrow it? Really? Uh, thanks, Belle. He knows my name. <laughs> Occupied. Holler ain't a bee. I have to go. And the other one's gross. Just go away. Oh, wait. Actually, do you have a feminine, um... Do you need a pad? Yeah, kind of, whatever. No problem. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Now, how long are you gonna be? A while. Just get out. Wow. Rude. It's me. I found some clothes, but all I could find was some napkins. Just the clothes, please. Sorry. I did the best I could. There's a surprising amount of flannel in the lost and found. The lost and found? Ew. Beggars can't be choosers. I know. Oh, gosh, these clothes smell funky. Hey, why are you dressed like that? I, uh, I spilled coffee on my dress this morning. Look, I'm sorry. Can we talk about something? Why are you sorry? You didn't spill it. I mean, about the flyers, but I didn't want to say it like that. I told you it's fine. I mean, I already made new ones. Yeah, but you haven't been answering my texts lately, and I just think... Look, I'm dealing with some, um, personal stuff right now. Let's talk later. Open your books to Act 3, Scene 2. Who can tell me what's happening here? The fairy Robin Goodfellow put the love potion on the wrong person. So now both Demetrius and Lysander think they love Helena and not Hermia. And Helena thinks they're tricking her. Exactly. Now let's read from the highlighted excerpts. Leo, you're Demetrius. Walker, you're Lysander. And Harmony, you can be Helena. Uh, let's take it from line 15. You advanced your cunning more and more. I had no judgment with her, I swore. Nor none in my mind. Now you give her o'er. Demetrius loves her, and he loves not you. Oh, Helen, goddess, nymph, perfect divine, 
To what, my love, shall I compare thine eyne? <laughs> Okay, all right. Can you not hate me, as I know you do, but must you join in souls to mock me too? If you were men, as men were in show, you would not use a gentle lady so, to vow and swear and super praise my parts, when I'm sure you hate me with your hearts. That was great. You know, Harmony, you should really consider signing up for the drama club. You know, all three of you would be terrific. Here's a sign-up sheet. Really? Maybe. I'm totally in. Think about it. First meeting is today after school. Jack. Since when were you a jerk? All right, always. You think just because you're running for president, no one else should? You have no interest in government. Do too. Do not. Do too. Do not. Do too. Do not. Just, just stay away from me. Same to you. Are you excited? For what? The Sharp Edges concert right after school, duh. Oh shoot, I completely forgot about the concert and I signed up for the drama club. The first meeting's tonight. You can't skip it? I mean, I, I waited all night for these tickets. I can't skip. You were the one who told me to find my backgammon. This is sharp edges, Harm. They're big. I'm sorry, I can't go. Is Leo doing it too? Why does that matter? By my count, we're up 10 points in the polls. That's a big lead, but it's not insurmountable. So, we need to make it 20. Come on, Gus, that's your job. Sheesh, what's your problem? Please excuse my friend. She's been like this since Bill got captain. Have not. Yeah, you totally have. And we all get why, but maybe you could just tone it down a notch. Can you guys chill out? No one is picking Claire Fitzroy over me. Yeah, I mean, we all know the election is just a big glorified popularity contest. And now he's the most popular boy in our grade. He's like a total shoe in Well, you're half right. What the polls show is that Claire is deeply unpopular. But they also don't show much support for you, Aggie. Meaning what? Meaning that right now, Aggie is the lesser of two evils. Kids don't like a know-it-all, but they also don't want a popular kid who they can't relate to. Seriously? Why can't they relate to me? I'm super cool, super chill, and super cute. The whole package. I know all that, but we need to make you relatable. That shouldn't be hard. Oh yeah, celebrities do it all the time. We just have to see something really embarrassing, like you tripping down the stairs. Everyone will feel totally bad. Bam, pity votes. I don't want pity votes. I want to win because I'm better. So stop talking to me about Claire and get me some votes. I'm gonna go find Walker. I'm gonna go retouch my lip gloss. See you. You need to talk to him. One slip up and he could lose this thing. I'll do my best. See you tonight. My dad's making eggplant parm. Can't wait. scared me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? Simone could walk in at any minute. Here's the deal. Me and Katie, we're on power search now, so you and Harmony are not our friends anymore. You can say that again. But we still want to win. And the more you and Simone fight, the less we practice. Then tell Simone to lay off me. Have you met her? Not gonna happen. The only way this works is if you let her be captain. Why would I give her my spot? Because when she wins, she's gonna stop caring about you and start caring about winning states. I gotta go, but think about it. Claire, we need to talk about something. I told you this, today really isn't a good day. If you're not gonna hear me, then I can't scream it on, on the treetop, I mean, rooftops. Scream what? 
that if you don't want to be my girlfriend anymore, I don't want to be your boyfriend. You're breaking up with me? That's right, Claire. We're done. But you're still going to be my campaign manager, right? No, PK, I didn't mean that. Hey, Quinn. What are you doing here? Hey, believe it or not, I'm the new student advisor for Drama Club. Oh, that's amazing. I honestly don't know how I got the job, but I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Okay, uh, I guess we'll get started. Uh, hey everybody, I'm Quinn. Um, I'm so excited to see you all here today. Uh, so we're, yeah, we're gonna kick off the first session with a little icebreaker. So let's start with Harmony, and you and McCoy. You're just gonna mirror each other's movements. Uh, the key is eye contact. Can I start picking my nose? Stop. <laughs> All right, everyone else find her up. You want to be my partner? Oh, sure. Thanks. You're not very good at this. This and this. Hey. How are you holding up? My stomach is sore, I'm tired, and to top it all off, PK broke up with me. Oh, I think I know something that can cheer you up. Found these on the ground. Nothing like some good rock music to help you forget all your problems. Chicken Girls. Hey, Cub. Hi, Margo. What's up? Want to eat outside? Sure. Can you tell Leo McCoy you're not interested? We're just friends. I can't date you if you don't. If Harmony really is over him, I don't see why he should be single. Find out. Stat. <laughs> 